and I'm never moving again. No kidding. In fact, we're so exhausted. I think we may just hit the hay. <laughs> Well, we have landed in our new spot for the day. Despite being in Alabama, yes, we are back in Tennessee. We've come full circle. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually, we braved it and we're staying in a state park. So we are at <laughs> T.O. Fuller State Park the next two nights, which we usually don't just for fear of being too big with this thing behind us here. Luckily, the trees are nice and tall. Um, I will say rolling in, um, our trucker GPS kept saying no truck access. <laughs> it still gave us directions, but the one road it said to turn down, there was an actual sign on the post that said no truck access. But we also had our GPS pulled up with Google Maps and that said to go on, I don't know, 0.5 more miles. So I said, okay, I'm going to go slow. And it was interesting rolling up. It's because you're kind of rolling through neighborhoods and you're like, really, there's a state park? But yeah. yes, yes, there is. Just keep going. <laughs> it's there. Yeah. We rolled the dice with this one and we lucked out. <laughs> yeah, right when we came here, the friendly park campground host came up and greeted us, told us how to use the water spigot mm -hmm. and uh, just warned us that Memphis ain't playing. Got to wear a mask and... Some of the stuff's still closed. I think tonight we're just gonna chill. Yeah, this is the perfect setting to kind of unplug and relax and decompress, especially after all of the socializing we've been doing, all the running, all the adventuring. It's just gonna be nice to kick up our feet and, and just enjoy the beautiful greenery and nature around us. Go have a cold one. Ooh. We'll check with you guys in the morning. Ooh, it's a new day. We made it through the night here in Teal Fuller State Park. We did. It must be like in the trajectory of the airport because we could hear some uh, jet engines throughout the night, but overall, I uh, slept pretty well. <laughs> a cold front moved in, hence the sweatshirts. Uh, so we've been bundled up for most of the day, just nice and warm and uh, in our jammies and our blankets and just enjoying the peaceful um, environment of the state park. So I really almost didn't want to go and do anything today, but we're traveling and when you're in a new place, by golly, you got to get out and do something. Or just sit around and watch Nebraska play football. Yeah, how'd that turn out for you? And lose. Mm. Not good. What are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. So you shut it off and you go out and say, all right, let's just go see Graceland. It's not that we're cheap, but spending almost nearly $300 for the entire family to tour Graceland, mm, it's hard to justify. Well, especially when we've been stopping in so many places and dining out and doing these different activities and Mom is not working right now, so we really have to pinch our pennies so that we can make it <laughs> to our next paycheck. Uh, so maybe we'll take a contract here in Memphis um, or a little vacation or something here sometime and really get to explore the area adequately. Yeah, so for now, we're just going to roll around and see some sights and find some trouble. Or some barbecue. <laughs> Come on with us. <laughs>
the early 1950s, Sun Records was a small recording studio located here at 706 Union. Owned and operated by Sam C. Phillips, Sun Records became nationally known for giving many local area artists, both black and white, their start in the recording industry. These included Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, Roy Orbison, Carl Perkins, Charlie Rich, B.B. King, Rufus Thomas, Howlin' Wolf, and others. Park. That's the lake behind us. It's very beautiful here. It's got a lot of old trees and beautiful color, but if you look just right there, there's some kind of a power plant or oil refinery or something. Wonderful view. <laughs> uh, we really wanted to venture into town and check out the hot springs or at least the bathhouses that they talked about in town, but uh, we rolled in kind of late. Yep, and this place, it's a lovely place, but it's probably 30, 40 minutes to get back to town. Like we had grand plans of going to a grocery store and all this stuff we were going to do. And didn't pan out, but we did back it in between a tree and a post. We're getting better. So that was fun. <laughs> oh, and if you can't tell, man, these are travel weary faces. We're we're ready to be done but we're really excited to head to our next destination sulfur springs texas and hang out with some more of our friends we made it to texas texas Woo! finally it's been so oh, many what days a trip so many days on the road. We have a few more to go, but it feels like we're in the home stretch. Yes, yes. Um, not only are we here in Texas for our next assignment, but we wanted to make a stop here in Sulphur Springs to visit some very dear friends of ours. Some of the best people in the world. I, I overdid that a little bit, <laughs> but it's true. It really is. Magnificent people. Yeah. Jason and Rebecca LaRue and their two kids. Uh, they're just a sweet family. Uh, every time we meet up, Jason has to feed us. And he feeds us well. He goes crazy. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. He's like, we don't eat like this. But, yeah. <laughs> but when we're here, it's steaks and mm -hmm. shrimp boils. Oh, yeah. You got to check this out. He got this new shrimp boil contraption it's a double burner it's like a jet engine well here check out the audio for yourself but yeah it really is like a jet engine in fact we could hear it inside the house like is there an airplane landing somewhere what's happening oh no jason's just cooking dinner it's a boil <laughs> so here come the potatoes and then the corn, and then, what do you say, 10 pounds of shrimp. Mm-hmm. And don't forget the sausage. That's right. And of course, yeah, they, plenty of leftovers for them <laughs> tomorrow. And uh, so, yeah, we, we all ate very well. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, that's like our only, kind of our only meal today. <laughs> I mean, I'm good. I'm good. I ate a lot. Yeah, going to continue the Texas adventure. We're going to stop in the Dallas area and see some more family. Stop in the Waco area, 
and see some more family. And then we will make it to our final destination, which we'll reveal at the end of the video. And I'm never moving again. No kidding. In fact, we're so exhausted. I think we may just hit the hay. So Sulphur Springs doesn't offer much in the way of RV parks. And this one is brand new and it's very new. Uh, it's been raining here the last few days, so it's kind of been a challenge pulling in and pulling out. So let me just show you here. That was our site. That's where the hookups are. It's pretty sloshy. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty muddy to boot. Um, we got all of our tires and our jacks on the concrete pad. But uh, e even they are still pretty dirty. Well, we're back in Waco. Yes. After visiting with the LaRue's, we did make a pit stop uh, north of Dallas to see my great aunt Anne and her daughter Darcy and her children, which was great. I haven't seen her in so many years. Spent the night at the Lighthouse RV Park. Kind of tight quarters, but not bad for one night. Mm -hmm. uh, the best part was it wasn't a mud pit. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> the kids helped us out, did some laundry, and Natasha got some work stuff done and got an okay night's rest. Yeah, the joys of being a travel nurse and being in transit to your next assignment. I always have onboarding to do. So we made it to Waco, and I'm glad we volunteered at these Corps of Engineer parks because it made us like aware of them. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the past we'd stayed at like I-35 Park up north of Waco, but this is great. Perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. Right on the lake. The sights are huge. In fact, we did a pretty good job bagging this baby in here today. Sure did. Boom. Yeah, so a uh, nice big long sight. We fit the RV, the truck, and the car all in the drive. Uh, you've got neighbors, but they're spaced further away. You got the green grass, the beautiful lake, and the sun, the sun even came out today. Hallelujah. So we're going to take the dog for a walk and then head on over to Nick and Tony's yep. and see your dad. That's right. And he is now a Texas citizen. So more family time. Travel weary, if you can't tell. It has been, I don't even know how many days. Yeah, well, I'll figure that out. Like, Put it right. Bing, bing, bing. It's been so many days. I don't even know how many miles. Thousands of miles. Bing, bing, bing. But we finally made it to... Austin, Texas. Woo! 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 Final Woo! destination. No more traveling for the next three months. Back in Texas. The land of Whataburger! Whataburger! That is how we are celebrating! We are celebrating with the Whataburger! Everybody say hello! Hi! It's dinner time! Thank you guys so much for following along on our crazy adventure, our crazy journey. Mama starts work in three days, so we are just going to kick back and relax and decompress. Well, I'm Natasha. And I'm Bill. With Nursing Our Travel Bug, encouraging you to nurse what makes you happy. And that is Whataburger. Time to eat. <laughs> We're gonna go. Chitty chitty bang bang. <laughs> now I'll wait for it to pass. Squeaky, squishy. <laughs> Shark the monkey. I just tried to fix my hair. That didn't work. That's why we're in the bedroom. That's not the only reason. That's not going in there. Maybe at the end. 